Hey everybody, this video is going to be on Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I was watching it last week and I've seen a few things that just look different to me. Might possibly be a Medela effect here going on with some of this stuff. There's only a few seconds here and there that are different to the way that I remember them. And I love this, this film. This is in my top 10 favorites of all time. And I watched it uh, at least close to 100 times. It came, back in, came out back in 1998 <clears throat> with Johnny Depp and uh, Nisha Del Toro. And uh, yeah, so let's go through these uh, these little things I've seen. And, and if you watch this film a lot, um, I really appreciate what you guys think. All right, this one is super quick. Um, and he says, you know, don't have fun, leave me here. It just sounds a little different. I don't know, I don't remember saying the here so clearly before. I thought it was more of an echo to it, but I don't know. Check this one out real quick. Hmm? Are you ready? Come on, hurry up. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, this next right. scene, Benicio del Toro says, "I leave." Well, I remember. I th I remember it is, "I leave you alone for five minutes," and this is what he says. <laughs> I leave you alone for three minutes, and you start waving that goddamn Marlin spike around, yelling about reptiles. So there you go, three minutes. I I thought it was five. Um, I asked a few buddies about it and they, they all thought it was five. They watched this movie a lot, but um, I want to know what you, know, you guys think about it. Now this little bit of dialogue here between Hunter Thompson and the lawyer just seems a little, I don't know, check it out if it's a little different on the wording or maybe it's just cleared up. Um, just check it out. Here we go. Okay, this part right here is a quick little, um, I think this scene ends, or should I say changes frame um, quicker than I remembered it. Um, this here, the maid, by the way, she's the, she was the, the badass girl in Aliens as Vasquez. as another one of my top 10 movies. I'm a big sci-fi guy. Um, this part right here just seems a little quicker. I just remembered when, uh, talked about putting the towels and he shut the door. She kind of had a little pep in her step, like got herself all cleaned up with a smile and then started to walk before it changed frame. I mean, it's nothing major at all. None of these are, but this one, it just seems like it changes the scene really quick, uh, quicker than before. Check it out. Oh, yeah, listen, uh, nice meeting you. Oh. Don't bother to make up the room. Just leave a pile of towels and soap outside the door exactly at midnight. That way, we won't have to risk another one of these little incidents, will we? Thank God for these. So yeah, that's it. Just a little quick there. I thought it was a few more seconds. You know, it went a few more seconds more. Okay, this next scene is the one, the big one for me. The, or the part that has a significant change. Um, there's a few scenes here that go into rotation. They go back and forth. And... I'm gonna play this for you guys, you guys that are uh, big fans of this film, and let me know if this is different. This the scene here. All right, so that's the. Uh, Would you guys see different there? Uh, I'll back up the parts I, I I see that are different. Okay, so this part right here is different to me. All right. Then the next part. Right here. You can't put up a circus without a tent. I, that's cool. I like that. I've never heard it in this film. I, I've never heard that. All right, that's one. Yeah. 
This is the one right here. This is the big one for me right here. Let's go back here. He says, we're all riders of the storm. He says, we're all riders of the storm. Never heard that in this, in the, on this, in this movie before. And that part there, you can't do that. And I don't even remember seeing a, a lady in his arms so clearly like that. He's dragging some woman back with him as he's saying that. He's pulling his shirt. Again, I could be wrong about all this, but I made this video. And this one's more going to be towards the people that are fans of this film. I are Medela Affected. And uh, definitely know what you guys think about it. So hit me back on, on what you think on this. And uh, if you remember these scenes. And I forgot to go back to this scene right here. I skipped this one. This part, uh, he gets up, the lawyer, and it's uh, Benicio Toro gets up, and his laugh is more defined. And I just, this looks a little different on this part right here. Fucking bullshit. I'll be down looking slow. I don't even know if he even laughed, period, but uh, this looks a little different. Um, what you guys think on that one? So I looked up uh, the dialogue um, scripts of the movie, and on this part right here, it doesn't even know what minute it is. It's a blank. And then on this part with Riders of the Storm, you don't even see anything. That line's not even there. And I've looked through about three different scripts. Some of them have it, some of them don't, that I came across. So that's it for today on this one, on this video. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if it's not, and you guys say it's always been the way it is right now, that you always remembered it this way, I have no problem. I'll just take this video down. It's, it's all good. So I, I like to look at this one. It's kind of like a voting, vi uh, voting vid uh, video. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Take care. Bye. Riders on the storm